fifth graders. This is lesson three, powers and exponents. Now, when you see a number, it is usually called the base, okay? Just a regular number, big, really big number. The small little number in the corner is called the exponent. Now, the base is the number that is multiplied, and the exponent tells you how many times that number is multiplied. So, if we talk about pancakes, um, it tells us that the number of uh, calories in six pancakes can be written as 10 to the power of three, or 10 to the third power. Please write 10 to the third power as a product of the same factor. That basically means we're just multiplying 10 three times. So what a common mistake is, 10 times 10 times 10, a lot of people say, oh, it's 30. You're adding. When you have a 10 to the third power, it's not 10 times 3. It is 10 times 10 times 10. And what that is, is a 1 plus how many zeros? 3. That's actually a thousand calories. Okay? Now, there are some numbers that have sp special names. If I have a two with a five in the corner, that is le literally said two to the fifth power, like I said with the three up here. If you have a two in the corner, that special name is squared. We say that this is three squared. And if it has a three in the corner, we say it's cubed. So this is 10 cubed. Now, it's not wrong to say to the second power or to the third power, but mathematical minds and mathematical people say squared and cubed. All right, so let's go to the next page and get some examples for you. So we have three times three times three times three using an exponent. Well, what number do you see here? That's three. Three is our base. Now, since three is used as a factor, how many times? One, two, three, four times. I write this with an exponent of four. So if I were to write this as a power, it would be three times three times three times three is three to the fourth power, okay? Now, sometimes we use exponents when we're prime factorization in our factor trees. So remember last time we had like two twos sitting next to each other, it'd be two twos, um, two times two plus, or times three times three. You can make that a whole lot simpler by using exponents. So let's break down 72, okay? 72 can be broken up into nine times eight. And both of these numbers are not prime, so they can be broken down too. Three, or sorry, nine can be broken down into three times three. And three and three are both prime, so I'm just gonna bring them on down here. Eight can be broken down into two times four. Two is already prime, I'm gonna bring this on down. And four can be broken down into two times two. So we're gonna order these from least to greatest. It's gonna be two times two times two times three times three. Well, we have multiple twos and we have multiple threes. So that just means that we need to count how many twos we have. So how many twos do we have? We have three twos. So the exponent um, next to my two is going to be a three. And how many threes do I have? I have two. So the exponent next to my three is going to be a two. So 72 can be broken down. Sorry, 72 can be broken down into two to the third power times three to the second power. Okay, I hope this helps you guys. Thank you.